factorization by splitting the middle term. Let me explain by taking an example. Let us consider a quadratic polynomial x square plus 7x plus 12. In this polynomial, the middle term is 7x. So, we need to split this 7x into two parts. For that, let us use the following steps. We know that the standard form of a quadratic polynomial is ax square plus bx plus c. So, let us write the values of a, b and c from the given polynomial. They are a is equal to 1, b is equal to 7 and c is equal to 12. Next, find the product of the values of a and c that is a into c is equal to 1 into 12 which is equal to 12. Now guess the two numbers whose product is equal to ac that is 12 and the sum is equal to b that is 7. Can we guess? Yes, we may guess for few problems but not for every problem. Then how do we get the two numbers? We can get the two numbers with the following process. For that, first write the factors for a number which is equal to the product of A and C that is 12. The factors of 12 are 1 into 12, 2 into 6, 3 into 4 or you can write them in reverse order that is 12 into 1, 6 into 2, 4 into 3. But we need to select any one of this order. I am going to take the first order. We know that if the product of two numbers is positive, then the two numbers may be either both positive or both negative. Here we need the product of two numbers as plus 12. It means the two numbers may be either both positive or both negative. So let us take the factors of 12 with both positive sign or with both negative sign and also we need the sum of the two numbers as plus 7. So let us add each pair of these numbers. 1 plus 12 is equal to 13, 2 plus 6 is equal to 8, 3 plus 4 is equal to 7. In the same way minus 1 plus of minus 12 is equal to minus 13. Minus 2 plus of minus 6 is equal to minus 8. Minus 3 plus of minus 4 is equal to minus 7. Now, can you select the two numbers whose product is plus 12 and sum is plus 7? Yes, obviously the two numbers are 3 and 4. Now, let us split the middle term 7x as plus 3x and plus 4x. Even plus 12 can be written as 4 into 3. Now, is there any common factor from the first two terms? Yes, x is common. So, let us take x as a common. Then it, it remains x plus 3. In the same way, is there any common factor from the last two terms? Yes plus 4 is common. So, let us take 4 as a common. Then it remains x plus 3. Again, is there any common factor? Yes. What is that? x plus 3. So, let us take x plus 3 as a common. Then it remains x plus 4. So, x plus 3 and x plus 4 are the two factors for a polynomial x square plus 7x plus 12. Now, to find the zeros of any polynomial, we need to equate each factor with 0. So, let us take 
x plus 3 is equal to 0 and x plus 4 is equal to 0. Now, what are the values of x? The values of x are minus 3 and minus 4. Therefore, the zeros of x square plus 7x plus 12 are minus 3 and minus 4.